Uh, photos, that's notorious for taking up a ton of space. Yeah. So what I recommend first is make sure you have a backup solution and more than one, yeah. possibly. So iCloud. The negative on iCloud, you have to pay for it. Uh, you get five gigs free. It's not expensive. I buy 200 gigs for, I think, two or three bucks a month. I think that's a, that's a very fair price. Mm -hmm. And be, But the problem is it fills up fast because you're using it not just for backing up your photos, but everything else, including yeah. your iPads and your iPhones. So there are some free solutions. Uh, Google Photos is my favorite. Um, and they just had an update that made us uh, added some few, few new features that uh, do smarter albums and, albums and videos. I really like it. So We've yeah, I just about back up everything. There's a bunch of selfies that I took for 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 work. This is all for work. <laughs> um, but yeah, it just everything that I take. Job. So you know, you can take like I. Felt like I needed to take several pictures of champagne yesterday for some reason, mm -hmm. and I did. Lots of selfies that my daughter took. They're all they here. support. Li Notice they support live photos now on Google Photos. I'm yes. so happy they finally did that. Uh, and the albums, the, they're they're great. They make little stories. So yeah. re re rediscover this day. This was three years ago when I was in Hawaii. I wish I were in Hawaii oh. right now. And they just made that for me. Isn't that nice? It's nice. Make you feel dissatisfied with your life. So, oh. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So sweet. Um, so yeah, Google However, Photos free. So uh, the way to do that, by the way, is to go into Photos and go into Settings and you'll see a Backup and Sync settings and you want to turn that on. By the way, this is also really handy if you have too many photos. You'll have to decide on the upload size. Now this is up to you. It's unlimited unlimited free storage when you let them squeeze the photo a little bit. Now, I haven't noticed any degradation. Me neither. So I use that. But if you decide, oh, I want to have the originals, iPhoto, I mean, Apple's Photos app, does back up originals. It backs those up to the iCloud, then uses squeezed versions on your devices to save space. Um, Google's a, works a little different, so it's important to understand the difference. It will, it will squeeze everything that it backs up. It does keep originals on your device, unless you decide to delete it. I'm going to show you that in a second. Or you can select originals and it'll back up originals. But that will count against whatever you have uh, on storage with your Gmail. And unless you buy more, that you may run out of that fast. I use high quality. I think that's, I've never had a problem. You could choose whether it should back up when you're on cellular. If you have cellular caps, you may want to turn that off. And same thing with videos. Um, but the, the really, the thing that I think is great is you can also use this to free up space. So let's go back. This is the Google Photos settings, manage device storage. You can remove original photos and videos from your device once they're backed up. So this is a safe way to globally remove all your photos. It won't delete anything you don't have a copy of on Google. So that's really important. So if you're running out of space, you can free up, delete all of the photos from your iPhone but on, only if they're already backed up to Google. And I think that's the safest way to do this. There are other ways. We'll show you other ways. Uh, it's really hard to delete photos in Apple's own solution. In fact, it's not really even very intuitive. You have to go into Albums, click the Albums button, uh, pick an album, and then swipe across. You know, go up. Uh, you can do it one by one. Uh, <laughs> I hate the interface on this. You can see I don't use it very often. Let's go back to selfies. I don't know if you Select, have to, you still have to go to albums. And you then can... you can do that. And yeah. then you can delete these mass delete. But there's no way. Well, you tell me. Is there a way if I'm back here with all of these that I can just say I want to delete all my originals? Like if you're in albums. You mean you want to delete everything. Let's say these are all my photos and I want to delete all my photos. Why would you want to do that? To Let's... free up space. Oh, you mean and keep them somewhere else. Yeah. Keep them on the... Yeah. yeah, so this is why I use Google Photos for that because it's much simpler. You can delete everything you don't have a backup and it won't delete anything you don't have a backup of. And then you have it all on Google Photos. The difference is, you know, you have to go to Google Photos to see your photos now. You can't see them in Apple's photos. I, maybe that's just me, but I just don't use Apple's photos. I have so many tr problems with it, especially on the desktop with a photo album getting corrupted um, and losing photos. So I just stay away from it. Um, so my suggestion, and take it or leave it, depends on how your workflow is, use Google Photos, let it back up, and then you can free up space by using that one button, one push button, mm -hmm. it'll delete all the photos locally.